Ouch. Police in Carlinville, Illinois, are looking for some Christmas crooks who stole gifts and food from, of all things, a nonprofit group. New tonight, our Robert Townsend shows us how the community is now pitching in to help. It's two weeks before Christmas and a greedy Grinch has committed a cruel crime at the McCoopin Center for the Developmentally Disabled in Carlinville, Illinois. It was messy and it's not the building was not the way we left it. During the wee hours last Thursday, director Debbie Lyons says the cold hearted crook or crooks trekked into their secluded neighborhood and broke into their building. It's hard because this is a safe place for our students and our staff. The thief stole clothing, electronics, students, personal items, and even food right out the refrigerator. When I had went into the kitchen, that's when I saw some of the food missing. How dare somebody do this? How dare somebody do this to our students? For 65 years, the nonprofit has provided a variety of services to developmentally challenged men and women. Currently, there are 20 special students range from 18 to 79 years old. We're big on our academics, so we have three classrooms currently, and they're broken to low, moderate, and high functioning. Our students are, they're the best, and I mean, for somebody to do that, it just was so disheartening. Take a look at this. As you can see, the burglar ripped off the screen to this lower level window, but it's still unclear exactly how the culprit or culprits got into this place a place that still promises to give its students a Merry Christmas. Thanks to Good Samaritans who hours after the pre-Christmas crime, donations are still starting to come in, open their hearts and their wallets. All the food items have been replaced at this time, the electronics have been replaced, and even the students' belongings. That's the true meaning of Christmas. Robert Townsend. It's been amazing. Five on your side. The small nonprofit is now trying to raise money to purchase a security system. You can go to KSDK.com to find out how you can help.